Hello, I'm going to try and show you how to wrap a bottle with A1 because uh, although when A1 is cured it is very solid that really showed you didn't it uh, it's really tough and you can it's not bendy at all once it's properly cured if you uh, bend it while it's curing you can't wrap a bottle um, as I did show this technique on the TV last year uh, and that was the end result I still not got a ramp to paint it um, so I will be using A1 ivory stone and ATP powder can't tell you what that stands for because I don't know I'm afraid all I do know is it is a thickening product um, the A1 creatives or acrylic one sell. Um, they also sell a couple of other things. Um, I want to call it 6A. I think that's what it's called, which is another um, thickening solution. It is liquid as opposed to powder. Um, and they also sell a product that um oh dear I'm getting tired now it makes it runnier makes it last longer don't make it runnier it makes it last longer it gives you a longer open time um to mess with it before it cures uh, okay so Maybe it wasn't a good idea doing this video right now as I am a bit tired and I can't get the words out at all, even more than usual. So I don't need that yet, I need the spoon. <laughs> that had been amusing trying to get the powder out with a, with a knife. So 40 and one part liquid, two parts powder. So 40 times three. I'm going to say is 120. Um, oops, spilt it a bit. Uh, right, 11, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so where did I put that? So you start off by doing your mixture first uh, of the base, uh, what do you call it? Wow, the ivory stone. So the liquid and the powder. Uh, and as always, make sure all your powder is mixed in properly and you want a nice smooth consistency. Yeah, that's right. Uh, okay, so that's about 120. If you can hear any screaming, I must apologise. One of my neighbours has decided to let the kids outside in the sun. Uh, and they're a bit overtired and screaming. Oh, now my cat's screaming to come in. But I am not going to let him in at the minute. He can see me through the window, he's fine. I'm not being cruel to my cat. Uh, I've just given him a big cuddle before I came in here. I've given him food. He's fine. Oh dear. I might have to pause it and go and see to him. Oh, he's really crying. And now the neighbour's kids are crying as well. But I have started to mix this. <coughs> Although, to be fair, I do want it to thicken up a bit, but I'm going to use ATP powder to thicken it up. So, let me make sure I've got all of the lumps out. There we go. That's lump free now. I'll move the scales out of the way. Right, ATP powder, you want to add it, um, 
we normally say a little bit at a time just go for a, a spoon at a time mix it in and see uh, how the thickness is um, we use this quite a lot when doing stenciling um, I also use it for stamping uh, but yeah it's basically a thickening product or if I'm just trying to cast part of a mould I will also use ATP powder um, to make it just a bit thicker uh, so it, you can control it more it's not running off the edges uh, if it's a mould without edges or like I say you're just wanting to do a certain part of the mould instead of obviously you can dam it up and um, use something to stop it running into certain areas uh, right I'm going to put a bit more in and I might leave it at that because I don't want it too thick for this process um, as I am using a mould but I also don't really want it running all over the place because on one of my attempts I did make it uh, didn't make it thick enough and uh, I got in quite a mess it was running all over but then I worked out that uh, if you put a coating on your bottle first which that is what I will do now actually and then I might make it a little bit thicker so I'm not really a big wine drinker uh, I don't have alcohol too much because of my ME it well glandular fever it it just doesn't mix um, so much as I might like a nice glass of uh, liqueur stuff or sherry or something every now and then I don't really drink wine anymore so I found this really old bottle of wine uh, it's not worth anything yes it's old but it's not worth anything um, took the label off gave it a clean I tried to find a corkscrew to empty it couldn't find a corkscrew and thought oh you know let's do it with the liquid in so yeah it looks like it's already been drunk before it's a nasty colour um, but I assure you it is just a, an uncorked bottle of wine so this as long as you're careful you don't get it into the cork there is no reason why you couldn't do this um, as a gift for someone so I would advise you don't have to do this it can stick without it but I like to just give a little bit of a coat on first um, I don't know I just I just found that it sort of helped it a little bit better I have done a few bottles now um, with different moulds that one that I just showed you a minute ago did I actually tell you this is too runny um, that I'd used a Prima mould for that so it was a silicon mould um, that I did that other one with but this one I am going to use a Stamperia mould as you can see in front of me well I think you can see it in front of me anyway uh, I don't know if it's anything like one of my other videos I did the other day I wasn't really on screen very much which I must apologise for but I think you could see what I was doing just about right so yeah just a bit of a coating probably should have made it a little bit thicker which is what I am going to do now so I will put that down there put that down there and get another spoon of ATP powder and wang it in mix it up and I don't know if you can see uh, it definitely makes it thicker um, so yeah just like the normal powder mix it all in nice and smooth no lumps and then 
I'm going to start to put it in the mould. Uh, and see how it's going. It's still pretty runny. It's still a little runnier than I'd like, but um, I think I'm going to get a bit in the mould to get into the detail. And then I might make it thicker again. Because um, obviously these moulds, are they called texture sheets actually? Uh, they haven't got any sides on them. But this is quite a deep one. Uh, I will put in the description the number um, of the mould. Because I have just taken the the tag off it. I like to keep my tags on these moulds so then I know which one it was I've used in a project. Um, but for this project I really didn't need the tag on it, it was just going to get in the way. So I have taken it off. But I will then reattach it after. So Getting all the detail. Uh, not all of these moulds are as deep as this one. I went for quite a deep one because um, I'm hoping to do something with it afterwards and I could do with the extra depth on it but I'll have to see how it goes as to whether I, uh, whether I do that or not because I haven't tried it before. So the video might just end at me taking this off the, uh, taking the mould off once it's wrapped around the bottle. But the plan is to do another stage. Probably shouldn't have told you that. Because the way that my brain's going today, it's... Uh, it won't work. But I'm not going to be negative, got to be positive. Hope for the best and hope that the technique will end up working and looking really nice and pretty. Then I'll give you an idea to give someone a nice bottle of wine or non alcoholic drink, you know, drink sensibly and all that. It doesn't have to be a bottle of wine. Um, but it's a nice way of putting it prettying it up and making it look special or buying a really really cheap bottle and pretending it's really expensive because it's got a nice uh, moulded design to the bottle which I guess is a bit naughty into conning your friends but it's not it's a handmade gift it makes it special because you've not just been and bought a bottle of wine you've then done something to it or not just being a bottom a bottle of lemonade or some other drink in a bottle. Um, this ideally wants to be on a glass bottle. You can do it on a plastic bottle, uh, but you really do need to make sure that it does go all the way around because if it doesn't go all the way around, it will come off. I use bottles to plastic bottles to um, shape some of my moulds. Uh, some of my casts. Um, I haven't got it out here. I might have used it in a project actually. Yeah, I want that a bit thicker than that. Um, I did a shield and I wanted to give it a bit of a curve. Uh, and so just after I'd filled the mould, I uh, got a plastic bottle and wrapped it around it and let it cure and then took it off and it had a lovely curve to it so it shows you that even though under normal circumstances like I say when anyone cures uh, it's not flexible and um, it shows you you can give it some shape beforehand as long as you do it while it's still uh, whew, you know not solid fluid flexible runny okay so 
might not have quite mixed enough here, which is a bit annoying, isn't it? It might be alright. It's pretty out of it. I think I got it into all the detail in the first place, so that's good. Um, basically, you don't really need it too deep. Um, you want it into all your detail. Make sure all your details filled up. Filled up, obviously, um, and then just a little bit on top, just enough to stick it to the bottle, basically, which. The amount that's on it at the minute it should stick to the bottle because it doesn't need much um, and the fact that I put a little coating on as well beforehand that should help it um, but ideally I'd like all those lumpy bits filled because it's only a, a thin coat I've got going off there at the minute uh, B. Have I got enough? Do I need to do some more? Oh, please be enough. Come on. I might say it's enough anyway. Um, and see how it turns out. Because if you can't just uh, attempt something new on a video that you're planning on putting on anyway, regardless of the results, uh, when can you do it? Hello Pussycat, they're watching me through the window now. Ooh. Mm, nice talking to the birds. I'd like a bit more in that corner really, but I'm not going to waste time mixing some more because I think I've taken enough time doing this anyway really uh, so yeah I don't know if you can see I've already put some cling film cling wrap uh, onto the counter underneath this which it's advisable to put it down first remember to put it down first because it's not the easiest thing to get underneath a mould once you've got your liquid in it and again speaking from experience ooh I'm going to do a bo I'm going to do a bottle get the bottle get the mold fill it up oh dear I didn't put any cling film down first and I need it underneath because that is what is going to hold it in place while it's curing and unless you have someone with you to help and hold stuff, uh, yeah, or you've got an extra pair of hands or something, and it? it's uh, not the easiest thing to do by yourself. So, I don't know if you can see that, that it's not, I would like it slightly deeper than that, just a little bit, but I am not going to waste time putting a little bit more in. So I'm going to hope that that is fine as it is. Probably should have taken that off there first. Okay. So move my watch call it out of the way. Give it a bit of a tap uh, to release any air bubbles and try not to get your thingy my bob stuck to it. So that'd be silly. yeah I'm going to do a technique afterwards anyway so if I did have any air bubbles and any um, problems with the design it's going to be hidden so it won't matter okay right this is where it all squishes out and goes everywhere because I haven't made it quite thick enough but it'll be great, it really will. Okay, now I better do it that way because that's going to be 
easier I think <sighs> right so you basically pick whereabouts on your bottle you want it place your bottle on watch it squish out everywhere this is like starting to she says starting to cure yeah again didn't really do it thick enough it would have been more cured if I'd have done it a bit thicker um right I can't see my over the top there so hold it roll it I'd like an extra pair of hands but I'm all right I can do it I can do it it's going it's going there we are I think I'm straight not 100% sure it's all squishing out the side but that's all right I don't know if you're gonna see that no you're not gonna see that right what I might do is if I can get that up there a little bit get some of this that's squished out and just um, pull it up onto the bottle because this mould doesn't actually go all the way around the bottle it only goes so far around it um, So, you ideally want to get it as tight as possible. You don't really want to get your cling wrap, cling film stuff into it too much because if the creases get into it, it's awkward to get it out, which as I say, I am going to be covering it anyway, so it doesn't really matter if some of it gets stuck inside. But if you can try and get it as smooth as possible, it's easier. Um, and like I say if you're planning on giving it as a gift to someone be really careful not to get it on the uh, cork because if you get it on the cork they're not going to be able to open the bottle that's what I'm guessing uh, which you know if you're trying to do a trick on them or something there's another option oops and there goes my nail from earlier Right, I don't want that bit in there. I'm get that bit out of there. If you haven't seen my videos before, A1's perfectly safe. You can get your fingers in it, as you will see me doing regularly. I'm just getting rid of some of this excess because it's annoying me. Uh, so, yeah wrap it around the bottom try and get it as tight as you can squishy squishy any bits extra and try not to squishy it in so that then you've got your uh, wrap stuck inside it doesn't matter if it goes a little bit it'll just give you a bit more texture um, so it's really not an issue and as I say whether you're painting it or doing whatever uh, you can hide it if it gets stuck so that is stage one then I'm going to try and hold it and grab some that I've trapped underneath something which was daft so I've got another piece just to try and um, keep it tight let's pull it back over so you can see sorry terribly sorry I think you could see that, couldn't you? Uh, talk to you like you can answer me because I'm doing it live. And I'm not doing it live, I'm recording it. So no one's going to answer me. I'm just talking to myself as usual. Oh, the cat. The cat's watching. The cat's listening to me. 
Rich. He does love to craft. He'll be very jealous that he's not taking part in this. But I'm not letting him in when I know I'm going to be making a mess. Um, as much as it's perfectly safe, eco-friendly, non-toxic, blah de blah, uh, you still don't want your cat getting his paws in it or licking it. I don't think he would lick it. Um, but it doesn't actually give off uh, sm any smell. Well, very, very little smell. Um, I don't know if you've seen my video where I say I am quite sensitive um, to smell. To smell? Bleh. I can smell things and it puts me off, it makes me ill. Um, but I'm fine using A1. It doesn't have a nasty smell. And not, it doesn't have a strong smell, it doesn't have a nasty smell. Um, the iron has a very, very slight smell um, to it. But I would say none of the others do. Uh, but the iron has such a unique and beautiful finish that I can cope with that tiny bit of smell just for the time that it does. Because once you've cured and painted and such, uh, the smell goes away. Or it's disguised. I don't know. It doesn't, it's not really strong. It's really not an issue. It wouldn't put you off, I don't think. So, wrapped up, pretty tight, going to leave it for about an hour, um, and then we shall unwrap it and have a look. So yeah, just smooth out any bits, yeah, I will show you in one minute one that I didn't do that to, that I I'm gonna hide it's fine it's not gonna be an issue so yeah leave that for an hour to cure oops a daisy knocked a pendant off yeah this is one that I didn't smooth it out too well and it bunched up but it's fine I can put a um, mold there anything I can hide it in some way uh, so yeah, that was another stamp area, texture sheet that I used for that. Uh, and the ivory stone and ATP powder. But yeah, like I say, it all bunched up at the top uh, and I didn't bother smoothing it out. And like these bottom bits, I've attempted to sort of chop them off, but it's pretty solid. Some bits all crumble off. but not much right i'll shut up now and i will be back in about an hour to see how this has gone i'd like that a bit tighter but it's not an issue because the main pattern is attached to the bottle so yeah see you in a bit okay i'm back just over an hour uh, and let's see if this has cured properly so, where's the end of it? That's one piece off that can be used again. this piece will be able to be used again. Yeah. No. So yeah, it wasn't too careful. I could have smoothed it out a bit more so that it wasn't all stuck in the grooves. But you can carefully pick away any that is trapped uh, and then disguise 
in the other bits potentially. So yeah, they're just bits from the outside that spilled over the outside that you can hear falling off. It's none of the inner bit that's falling off. So there you go, mould fine, that will flatten out again if you want it flat. Uh, and there you are, a really pretty, pretty bottle that, as I say, you can just break off a few bits uh, and pick off any bits of cling film, cling wrap, whatever you call it. Uh, that did happen to get a little bit trapped in the process. Try and get that a bit smoother. Yeah, as I say, if you were a bit more careful when I was and smooth it out a bit more around the edges, you don't necessarily have to have those harsh lines. But obviously, there's you can mix some more A1 and fill in any of those gaps if you want, um, or use your other mediums, or stick other molds on, or use material. Uh, I should have brought the one out that. I uh, had a bit of jute and did a bit of weaving and just wrapped the jute around the outside. Um, yeah, that's another thing I should have been more careful about, making sure that I didn't get too much on the bottom. You can potentially pick it off or sand it off, so it's not an issue. Um, but obviously you want your ball to sit flat, don't you? You don't want it falling over. Um, so yeah, you can just easily sand that off. I haven't got any... No, I haven't got any sandpaper to hand, but that will come off yeah, easy enough. She says ruining the nails a bit more, but yeah, not an issue. Okay, so I will leave it there for you. Hope that's inspired you to uh, make a nice bottle, whether it be one that's full of something or empty. And you put a candle in the top of it. Um, yeah. So, there you go. Thanks for watching.